This is not a human voice. For a long time, the hype was all about Eleven Labs and a few other big-name voice tools, but most of those features live behind expensive pro plans and frustrating paywalls. I used to think Eleven Labs was the best until I found this new, almost unknown AI voice tool. Hands down, it beats Eleven Labs in every other voice generator I've tried. No paywall, no pro plan, totally free. It even adds real emotion on its own. Laughs, <laughs> sneezes, <laughs> little sighs, <clears throat> and it switches languages without me recording a single word. Stick around and watch to the very end. This tutorial shows everything step by step so you can start using it right away. Let's get started. First, head to your Chrome browser and type Google AI Studio. Scroll through the results until you spot the page with a Gemini logo that's the official one. Click it and you'll be prompted to sign in with your Gmail account. Once you're signed in, you'll land on the main dashboard. This is our creative playground. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a menu icon, three horizontal lines. Click it and a side panel slides out, giving you access to all of Google AI Studio's tools. Chat, stream, generate media, build, history, documentation. Now click generate media. This is where all the magic happens, image generation, audio, and more. You'll notice different AI models you can play with, Nano, Banana, Imogen, and the one we need today, Gemini Speech Generation. Click Gemini Speak Generation. This opens the voice generation workspace. Look to the top right corner and you'll see a drop-down menu for the voice model. Select Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview TTS. This is Google's most natural sounding text-to-speech engine perfect for clean, human-like audio. Next, you'll notice two options, single speaker and multi-speaker. Single speaker is perfect when you need one continuous voice like narrating a YouTube video, podcast intro, or audiobook. Just paste your script and generate. While multi-speaker lets you create a conversation between different AI voices, Imagine a podcast with two hosts or a drama scene you assign a different voice to each character and the AI blends them seamlessly. First, let's begin with single speaker. Look for model temperature. This controls how creative or varied the voice sounds. You can slide it forward for more variety or keep it steady for a natural, consistent read. I recommend leaving it at one for a balanced result. That's what I'll use today. Now comes the fun part, choosing a voice. Under the voices section, you'll see a long list of male and female options, each with different tones and accents. Tap on any name to preview it. Listen carefully and pick the one that matches your project's vibe. For this demo, I'm going with a voice called Aeronome. It has a warm, professional sound I really like. Before pasting your script, Check the box labeled Style Instruction. This is where you give the AI personality. Want a warm and friendly narrator? Type. Read this in a warm, inviting tone. Creating a horror story? Try. Creepy and suspenseful. Need excitement? Say, energetic and fast-paced. You can even tell it to be playful, dramatic, or serious. Think of this as your director's note the more specific you are, the better the voice will match your vision. Now paste your text into the main box. Here's a pro tip. You can insert stage directions right in the script. For example, you can add laughs softly, sighs, or pauses dramatically. The AI will either follow those cues or add its own subtle touches like a natural breath or a slight chuckle depending on the voice. Click Generate. The tool will process for a few seconds. It might feel like a short wait, but trust me, the result is worth it. Tang. Now the magic moment. Click Play and listen. I can't believe I actually spilled coffee on my laptop this morning. And then my cat jumped on the keyboard like it was a trampoline. <laughs>
Honestly, I didn't even know whether to cry or laugh. Huh. Hear that? The voice doesn't just say the words, it feels them. Where I wrote laugh softly, it actually laughs not a fake robotic sound, but a natural human giggle. No awkward text readouts, just pure emotion. Honestly, this blew me away the first time I tried it. All right, let's put this to the ultimate test. We'll take the exact same script emojis, stage directions, laughs, and all, and drop it straight into Eleven Labs. Here's how. Open Eleven Labs and click Instant Speech. Pick any voice you like, male or female. I'll keep it simple and choose a standard female voice. Paste the script exactly as we used in Google AI Studio. No changes, no tweaks. Hit, generate, and wait for it to process. Now listen closely. I can't believe I actually spilled coffee on my laptop this morning. Laughs. And then my cat jumped on the keyboard like it was a trampoline. Laughs. Honestly, I didn't even know whether to cry or laugh. Sighs. Hear the difference? Instead of laughing, it literally reads the words laughs. Every emotion we carefully added gone. Flat. Robotic. No warmth. No subtle breaths. No personality. This isn't just a small gap. It's a night and day difference. All right, it's time for a real challenge. Can this tool handle Nigerian Pigeon? Before we give Google AI Studio the spotlight, let's see how Eleven Labs performs. I'll paste this Pigeon script into Eleven Labs. Pick any voice, male or female, doesn't matter. Click Generate and wait a few seconds. Now, listen carefully. Omo, oh, I no go lie. Yesterday for school, na wahala full ground. As I walk a enter class, teacher Don already start lesson. One guy for my class, come carry him homework way he never do. Begin scatter bag anyhow. Him bag burst open. Book, biro, even him lunch day fall come out for ground. Teacher look him talk say, I be na race you day run. Everybody just day watch. Some day whisper, some day help him pick him things small, small. After small time, him manage pack everything back, but him shame no gree hide, him face red well, well. We continue lesson, but the Coco be say, after class, everybody still day yarn about how him bag scatter that morning. It's rough, right? The flow is off, the accent is missing, and it even throws a warning saying this is an unsupported language. For a platform with so much hype and high-priced pro plans, that's a big disappointment. Now, let's take that same Pigeon script back into Google AI Studio. Choose your preferred voice. In the style instruction, I'll start simple. Read in a warm and friendly tone. I didn't add special accent, no extra hints. Paste the script and click generate. Give it a moment and play. Omo, oh, I know Gulai. Yesterday for school, now we all are full ground. As I walk, I enter class. Teacher don't already start lesson. One guy from my class come carry him homework where he never do. Begin scatter bag anyhow. Him bag bust open. Book, biro, even him lunch, they fall come off for ground. Teacher look come talk say, I be na race you they run. Wow. Already smoother than Eleven Labs natural rhythm, clear words way closer to authentic pigeon even without any special settings. Let's go one step further. This time in the style instruction, I'll actually type in Nigerian pigeon accent, warm and conversational. Same script, same voice. Click generate again. Now listen. Omo, um, I no good lie. Yesterday for school na wala full ground. As I walk in that class, teacher don't already start lesson. One guy from my class could carry him homework where he never do, begins scatter bag anyhow. Him bag bust open, book, bureau, even him lunch, they fall come off for ground. Teacher look and talk say, I've been a race with they run. Everybody just they watch, some they whisper, some they help and pick him things small, small. After small time, he managed to pack everything back, but him shame no gray hide, him face red well, well. We continue lesson, but the Kukobi say, after class, everybody still they yarn about how him bags scatter that money. Oh my goodness, this is spot on. It sounds like a real Nigerian speaker. 
The cadence, the intonation, the vibe, everything just clicks. And remember, this is completely free. No hidden fees, no pro plan. For anyone creating African flavored content, this is a total game changer. All right, let's push this tool even further. We've heard it nail Nigerian pigeon now, let's see how it handles German. First, I'll take the script I wanna use and head over to ChatGPT. I'll simply ask, please translate this text to German. You can use any translator you like, but ChatGPT is fast and accurate. Once I have the German version, I'll copy it and head back to Google AI Studio. Inside Google AI Studio, pick a voice male or female, any style you like. Paste the translated German text into the box. Click Generate and wait a few seconds. Now listen. Weißt du, an solchen Morgen komme ich ein wenig zur Ruhe. Die Luft ist frisch, das Sonnenlicht fällt sanft durch die Vorhänge und selbst die Straße draußen wirkt ungewöhnlich ruhig. Ich habe mir eine frische Tasse Kaffee gekocht, aber statt mich zu beeilen, stand ich einfach eine Weile am Fenster, beobachtete Leute, die ihre Hunde ausführen und hörte in der Ferne das Klingeln einer Fahrradglocke. Incredible, right? It speaks fluent German with natural rhythm and pronunciation, no extra setup required. If you're a native German speaker watching this, please drop a comment below and let us know how accurate the pronunciation sounds to you. Because from where I'm sitting, this is next level for a completely free tool. Let's take it up another notch and see if Google AI Studio can handle French just as well. I'm heading back to ChatGPT with the same script we used earlier. I'll simply ask it to translate this text into French. Once I get the French version, I'll copy it and return to Google AI Studio. Inside Google AI Studio, choose any voice you like, male or female. Paste the translated French text into the main script box. In the style instructions, I'll add a quick note, read with a French accent. Click Generate and give it a few seconds. Now listen to this. Tu sais, les matins comme celui-ci me permettent de ralentir un peu. L'air est frais, la lumière du soleil traverse doucement les rideaux, et même la rue d'or semble étrangement calme. J'ai préparé une tasse de café bien chaude, mais au lieu de me presser, je suis simplement resté un moment à la fenêtre, regardant les gens promener leurs siens et entendant au loin la sonnette d'un vélo. Beautiful, right? It reads the French naturally, with smooth pronunciation and the right rhythm. If you're watching from a French-speaking country, drop a comment below and let us know how accurate it sounds. Personally, I think this is stunning especially for a tool that's completely free. Next, let's explore one of the most exciting features, multi-speaker mode. This is perfect for podcasts, interviews, skits any scenario where you need two distinct voices. Here's how to set it up. Click on multi-speaker in the left menu. Prepare a script where each line clearly shows who's talking. Now that our two-person script is ready, let's set up the speaker details so each voice sounds unique. On the multi-speaker page, look to the right panel where you see speaker one and speaker two. Click the edit icon next to speaker one, delete the placeholder name and type queen. Then do the same for speaker two, renaming it Jane. Under each name, pick a voice that matches the character. You can preview as many as you like, maybe a warm female tone for Queen and a richer, calm voice for Jane. You can add the dialogue in two different ways. Method one, quick, simple. In the style instruction box, write something like, read this dialogue in a warm, conversational tone. Then paste the entire script directly below it. Now let's hit play. Wow, you won't believe what just happened on the way here. Don't tell me you missed the bus again. Worse. A parrot at the bus stop talked to me. Full sentences. <laughs> no way. What did it say? It looked straight at me and said, morning traffic is a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> That's what? Hear that? Each time it's Queen's turn, her voice comes in perfectly. 
Then Jane responds in her own voice smooth, natural, no overlap. This is incredible for anyone creating AI podcasts, interview shows, or storytelling videos. It saves you from recording multiple people, yet sounds like a real conversation recorded live. And as you just heard, the emotions are spot on too. For method two, if you'd rather build it line by line, just click add dialogue, type Queen's first line, click again for Jane's reply, and keep adding until you're done. It takes more time, but it's perfect when you want to add extra emphasis or adjust the pacing for every single speaker. Of course, method one is still the fastest, just paste the entire script and generate. Either way, this tool delivers incredibly natural conversations with almost no setup, and it's completely free. Honestly, I haven't seen any other AI tool match this quality without a paid plan. If you know one, drop it in the comments, because I'd love to check it out. Before you go, if you haven't watched my tutorial on Nano Banana where I show you how to create hyper-realistic AI images and combine them into stunning projects, you'll find the link down in the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.